Today we'll be playing the B movie game. Yes. Who I believe Jerry Seinfeld did a voice. Jerry Seinfeld? I think he produced the movie and everything. I, I guess he's the B, right? Yes, it was Jerry. I, Jerry. I never saw it. I saw it. I saw it in theaters. Oh, you saw it. So, By myself, I saw so it. So tell us about B-Movie, Tony. Well, I remember thinking it was whatever when it came out. Like, oh. my, I think my mom and sister were going to one movie that I just didn't want to see. Uh, don't dare skip this, because sometimes they put funny stuff. Oh, never mind. Remember that Jurassic Park movie we played where the raptor pulled? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> The Jurassic Park one was fun. I thought they were going to do something. Anyway, so I went into the uh, B movie by myself because I didn't want to see the movie they were seeing. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I love Jerry Seinfeld. This will be fun. And then the movie was done. I'm like, well, that was a movie. Uh, <laughs> I never watched it again. It was like whatever. Yeah, it was so like. Was that like a not bad, not good, like blah? It was very blah. It yeah. was like. <laughs> yeah. And they do weird things, like they parody scenes from The Graduate, and I'm like, kids aren't gonna get that. No, that's the that's the scene for the adult to get. Yeah, I guess because they drag their kid. Along. Uh, but yeah, so because you know what adults love more than anything yeah. parodies of The Graduate. Yes, yes, and then there was weird stuff like so it was uh, Jerry Seinfeld, Matthew Broderick. Uh, Renee Zellweger, I think, was his love interest because the bee falls in love with a girl. Her boyfriend is Patrick Warburton, who's putty on the Seinfeld, and then like. John Goodman's in it. There was it was a loaded cast, and then like he the bees sue a honey company for taking their honey, and it's the Ray Liotta Honey Company. But like I didn't get it. I'm like, what does Ray Liotta have, have to, to do with anything? It does nothing. Okay. No <laughs> they just thought it was funny, so they they kept it in because they liked it. I have no idea. I'm like Ray Liotta's in the movie. I'm like, what is? This? <laughs> okay. So, um, I, yeah. I, by the way, just uh, randomly, uh, question. Do you think, you mentioned John Goodman. Yeah. Do you think if John Goodman, if you got the chance to talk to him, um, <laughs> do you think that he ever played any of the Flintstones Super Nintendo games? Oh. Or do you think that he knows that they existed? I'm going to say, I'm sure he knows they existed. Because they, some of them might have had to use his license. Do you think he got like a paycheck for him, maybe? Like a royalty check, A royalty maybe. check, so maybe he knows they existed? It, maybe, but he won't care. Right. He's like, hey, I'm on like a TV show now, and I'm like doing stuff, and that was like 30 years ago. Right, right. Get away from me, is what he would say. Oh. <laughs> if oh. I went up to him and was like, hey, do you remember the Flintstones Super Nintendo games? He would say... Get away from me. He wouldn't say, yabba dabba, yeah, I do. <laughs> want to get there faster, go to the next car and ride it up here. You can r drive a car? Maybe this is, maybe this game's great. Well, I mean, it's the game based off of B-movie. How could it be bad? <laughs> Okay, so basically you can do that. You can get into all of the cars. You can get all of the cars with triangle. So it's Grand Theft Auto. Oh my god, it's Grand, it's Grand Theft Auto. Just drive the car. <laughs> oh my god. This is great. Why do the bees have cars? <laughs> oh my god. You know what those cars look like? What? Bug-eyed sprites. It's an old car. Ah. Uh, I don't. I don't. Did not know that. Ah. <laughs> they look like they have little bug eyes. Maybe that's what it is. Well, Jerry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld's a car guy, so maybe he knew about that. He is. He is. And put that in the game. <laughs> I knew a dude who uh, was like. A producer, not like you know, big producer. He was a producer on the comedians and cars with right, coffee. Right. Uh, he worked on. He briefly worked on the TV show that I was working on, and like I was there when he got the message that it got picked up for like a season two. Okay. And then he left us with the rental car and told us to take care of it. And we're like, I'm just a camera guy, and that's the talent. This is like your job. And then he left. <laughs> And then he gave me like two batteries for a camera. I'm like, am I supposed to return this? He's like, I don't know. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you don't usually like. That'd be like if like the Avengers movies, like, uh, 
uh, someone went to Robert Downey Jr. They're like, hey, can you uh, clean up the, the catering table? <laughs> He'd be like, you're fine. <laughs> you would probably be excommunicated from Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> Listen up. Operating the tube is easy. Use the left analog stick to move it left and right. Allowing yourself to grab the honeycombs that are falling down from the waffle iron. The Remember, this is for kids. One thing, though, kids are supposed to, like, pay attention to this. Let them go. <laughs> you gotta dumb everything down for them. <sighs> That's really frustrating. Pay attention. Fill the quota and Hunnix will reward you. Do you want me to repeat? No! <laughs> okay. Okay, so you just gotta catch it. Yes. They so could, it's like <laughs> they, they couldn't have fucking done this like it, five minutes ago. Is it? Am I, am I not catching the black ones, right? Just the yellow ones? Yeah, I think you don't catch. The, <laughs> yeah. Um, is this like beat 'em and eat 'em? Wasn't this like what you had to do in beat 'em? Well, in beat 'em and eat 'em, there was a witch jacking off on top of a building or something. Okay. Um, or no, in a, a witch shooting milk out of her titties. Oh, okay. So and then the beat 'em and eat 'em. No, beat 'em and eat 'em was the guy jacking off off the top of the building. Yeah, and then you had to catch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you had to catch the cum. <laughs> What a great game. I own it. In the box. Oh, wait. I think you're supposed to catch five black ones. And oh, then, oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. No. Oh, Jesus. Well, why? Did I fuck it up? Can I, can I try? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Was... Look at that guy. Stupid. No! Get back! What have you done? Get in the other car. Get, get that car. It's triangle. Okay. I don't like that you don't, like, knock the other guy out of the car. Yeah. You just, like, ride with them. I, I like how that car just materialized out of nowhere. You know what doesn't make sense? What? So, like, you're the person in the passenger seat. I clearly see that other B driving. Yeah. But I know that you're driving the car. Yes. So you swapped characters now to that character. Which yes. doesn't make a lot of sense. The other person uh, should have... The other bee should have moved it over, and you should be sitting there driving the car. Because you're supposed to be that character. Mike, if you're looking for sense in something based off B movie, you're going to you're gonna be really disappointed. Well, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I mean, there's things that are basic to any video game. Come on. <laughs> you're just awkwardly with that guy now. Like, hey, how you doing? That looks like a Volkswagen Beetle. Oh... <laughs> Mike, this is what the movie was. This is literally... Fuck. <laughs> so you were asking me, they memed the hell out of this movie a few years ago. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, people were just doing weird re-edits of B-movie, and one of them was... There was stuff like the movie speeds up every time they say B. So when someone would say B, the movie would get faster and faster. <laughs> Uh, there so were one, they like YouTube poops? Yeah, and it was like B movie, but with but only the where they say B B movie this. And I told you my oh, favorite God. one was B movie, except it's yellow and there's no audio. And it was just the yellow thing for the length of the movie. But then there was someone in the comments that was like, "It's off by one second. I looked up on IMDb. <laughs> I'm like, "Wow." <laughs> Does anyone remember any other ones? They were pretty, they were pretty crazy for a bit. Will Disney's Hercules for PS One be on tonight's agenda? Uh, I think Aaron has that. I, I hate the Disney Hercules. I really do. I haven't seen it since like the nineties or something, so I don't even remember. The, the Hydra part's kind of cool. <laughs> Danny DeVito is kind of funny, is but that the one that has Jason Alexander in it. No, that, that's, that's that yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> like that's a good, like serious kind of like dramatic cartoon. But then they were like, this might scare kids. Let's put talking gargoyles in. But all it does is make the hunchback look crazy. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you're supposed to be sympathetic because he's like deformed and stuff. But the, he's also crazy because he can hear gargoyles, <laughs> or the gargoyles are real, and that just raises more questions. <laughs> Okay, so this is now Crazy Taxi. Do you believe in life after all? I, I, look up B-movie soundtrack. I, I wonder if that song made it into the movie. <laughs> I always thought she sounded a little like Scooby-Doo when she's singing that song. Are you, uh, you going to see Scoob? Scoob? Yeah, it's a CG animated prequel to Scooby-Doo. It's about uh, Shaggy becoming friends with Scoob. Are you going to see Shrunk? No! 
how? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, why? Why are we doing a reboot? Like, who cares? The sequels weren't very good. I think the last one went direct to video. Somehow, I think he, I think Rick Moranis waited for like 30 <laughs> years for his agent to find a role that he could get like 50 million dollars for, and he just <laughs> waited. And he's like, "Well, if, an, if a role ever comes up where they'll give me 50 million dollars, <laughs> I'll he do did it." A, um, I'm not coming out of retirement until that point. What did he do recently? He did like a commercial <laughs> recently. Like, remember that the Canadian characters he did? No, no. Oh, well, like on SCTV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he did yeah. that for like a commercial recently. Uh, okay. Yeah. Alright, am I looking for more people or. I kind of want to watch B Movie now. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is happening in this game? You've got a job on We're racing. Five. You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. Okay. So I'm just going to computers and then doing the jobs it's telling me to do. Like some they have to be small, short tasks because yeah. kids will get bored. Yeah. But kids also didn't really see the movie. Like I don't think that movie did that well. Right. It's not only a matter of brain, but also a matter of brawn. They're like, they're like, what? What is B movie? <laughs> Can we play Minecraft now? <laughs> Pretty much. Let's see when B Movie came out, because Minecraft got popular in what, like 2010? Yeah, uh, B Movie was 2007. Why do you know that off the I told you, I saw it in theaters. Oh. Well, Minecraft wouldn't, it was not out yet then. Yeah. I was like, hey, Jerry Seinfeld has a kids' movie out. I like Seinfeld. Might as well check it out. I go over to your place and you just got B Movie, like posters, like everywhere. Well, I was expecting, like, you know, like, like Shrek is for kids, but it's also got, like, a bunch of adult humor, like, you can enjoy it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I thought of a B movie, but B movie was just tonally just all over the place. <laughs> like, I'm like, kids aren't gonna get like half of this shit, and adults aren't gonna go see this movie. Like, other right. than me, like, no one's gonna see this movie. They sold one ticket, and it was to you. <laughs> <laughs> McBee, it's Hive Noon. Uh, hive Noon. Make sure we save it. Let's use up that precious memory card space. Well, you're gonna you're gonna play this a lot. I feel. I feel. Uh, <laughs> not sure about that. The, the next convention, you're just gonna be like, "Hey guys, I'm giving away a game." Oh, do we have to do anything? No, just take it. Just knowing take it. knowing me, I'll probably beat, end up beating this game <laughs> eventually. Like, give it five years, I'll be like, "Yeah, hey, I beat beat Ruby Tony." I'll be like, "Jesus Christ." <laughs> Next story chapter ready. You should head home. Okay. Mike, I'm going to head home to get to the next story chapter. All right. Get in your Volkswagen van. <laughs> God forbid we make a B-related <laughs> joke while we're playing this. Oh, wow. This one's fast. Look at this. I got to like a void ship. I always liked Ant more than I liked Bug Life. Yeah. It's far superior. You just only like Bugs Life because you're a Disney shill, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Ants was uh, independent and had Woody Allen in it, I think. And yeah. Sylvester Stallone and Christopher <laughs> Stallone. <laughs> I, I hate Disney. <laughs> 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 propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you're arguing about fucking Ants. <laughs> Bugs Life. Ah, oh, quick time events. Mike, my favorite thing, quick time events. Mine too. Just Mine hit too. the button when we tell you to, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I hit her ass. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Do you think there'll be a part of this where he stings somebody and then dies because his stinger got pulled off? Did that happened in the movie? Oh, yeah. The Matthew Broderick one stung a guy and he didn't die because it's a kid's movie. They replaced his stinger with the little sword you put in drinks. In like mixed drinks. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> they should have been ripped in half. And then I think he sword fought uh, John Goodman. See, you, you know why we're still talking about Bambi to this day? Yeah. Because Bambi's mother died. <laughs> if they would have had a bee die, maybe people would still be talking about fucking bee movie. <laughs> but no, nobody talks about it anymore. Except Ooh, for us. Oh, quick time event! <laughs> Oh no! 
This reminds me one day we're gonna play Frogs and Flies on Atari. <laughs> I mean, why? This is so much better. Like. <laughs> I did not miss PS2. You wish your girlfriend had a frog's tongue? <laughs> <laughs> that's like... <laughs> Look, I mean, you do you, but I don't think that's as cool as you think it's going to be. Because, <laughs> like, they're really long and they're adhesive and that'll, like... I feel like your face would come off. Maybe he's had experience with, with, with frog tongues before, though. <laughs> so. Have you, did you lick toads? <laughs> remember that thing, like, the night of, like, licking toads would get you high? <laughs> you remember that? It was, like, a thing. <laughs> you used to lick toads? No, I didn't. That was, like, a, that was, like, the plot for, like, several different shows, like, episodes. Like, uh, what show? There was a Family Guy episode where they were licking toads and they would hallucinate. <laughs> and, uh, X-Files. There were these recurring characters who were stoners, and they, one episode was them, like, I heard if you lick the toad, you get high. <laughs> that was, like, a thing in the 90s I kept seeing. I never looked into it if it was, like, real. Not, like, real, but if people thought it was real. You want to go find some toads? <laughs> well, let's get some toads, yeah. We're, we're going to test this out, guys. We're going to shoot Mike and Tony lick toads. <laughs> and, probably get, and trip balls. Probably get more people watching than this. <laughs> Fucking bee, bee bullshit. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh. I gotta, I gotta pollinate these flowers. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's great. This is great, Mike. Oh, my God. Uh, You're right. This is way too much for a kid. They're throwing way too many different things yeah. at you too early. Well, I think that they want to just... Well, all you really have to do is, like... I mean, how complicated is this to do? Just, I'm thinking if I was, like, five, I'd be, like, so confused. Like, what? I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. Well, they, the thing is, they didn't do this. Nobody fucking had it about this game. <laughs> how much was this game for you? This game This was is a class. Somewhere out there, this is someone's favorite game. A $6.99. Seems pretty good. I mean... I think I got $6 worth of enjoyment out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, so I... I I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with being movie. Alright, well... <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, yeah, and this... we'll be back with some more PlayStation games here on Mike and Tony Tuesdays, filmed on Wednesday. Is this the only Jerry Seinfeld game? Uh, <laughs> no, a... no, There's we played another one. We played the Doom mod. I mean, so we're like, can I get Jerry Seinfeld in an official game that's not... Just Jerry Seinfeld stand-up comedian game? <laughs> we'll be right back.